The small town of Montosolo, the first name of Pino, mentioned in a diploma of Emperor Otto III in 996, was probably founded on the area of a Roman settlement later abandoned, where there was a chapel held by the monks of Nonantola. In 1034, the hamlet was left to the Biendrate family, before passing to the monks of Cavour and then the Bishop of Turin as an episcopal dominion. Fortified in the 12th century and with the castle built, the hamlet remained appanage of the Bishop of Turin. However, it gravitated towards the commune of Chieri, but not without conflict and a real war which ended in 1200. Today, there remains only a brick tower with a square layout, the summit of which provides a splendid view of the surrounding countryside. The place name Pino only appears in the 15th century, at the same time as the foundation of the Church of St. Mary of Pino in 1440. This was then rebuilt and erected in the parish under the title of Madonna del Carmelo e di Sant'Andrea Cossini between 1653 and 1660. The parish church attributed to Father Andrea Costaguta sits on the highest part of the town and is preceded by a large five-arch portico that does not belong to the original 17th century project. The interior is characterized by a single nave with barrel vault flanked by eight lateral chapels. The polygonal presbytery allows access to the cloister situated to the left of the church, while the choir is a throwback to the small 15th century church. One can admire a beautiful altarpiece portraying St. Andrew and Our Lady of Mount Carmel, painted by Caravaglia in 1659. The high altar and balustrade in marble, the work of Eduardo Mella. And plaster decorations produced by the same Lugano and Como workers that were at the Palace of Venerio Reale. To access Via Maria Cristina, the road that leads to the parish church, you must pass under a magnificent brick portal, built following vows in 1830. Facing the arch is a votive pillar dedicated to the Virgin of Suffrage that was to have been the first of 14 stations of the Via Crucis that were never built. The commune's administrative autonomy only arrived in 1694. New impetus for the town's development was given by the construction of the new Chieri-Turin Road in 1823. 